Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Spotless Minds podcast. It's your host, Olivia Jonell. How have you guys been? Because me, if you've been rocking with me so far, you know it's my third episode. And I'm supposed to be consistent and coming out every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. And I missed last week. I didn't post on Instagram that I was going to miss it. I just didn't post. And if you know my history of content creation, if you follow me for a while, you know that <laughs> I have these spurts where like I'm creating, I'm creating, and then I let life get to me. I am in a relationship drama, so I'll just let myself feel all the feels. I'll lay in bed for a few day, few days and not do anything and give myself that excuse of of self-care of you got to, you know, protect your feelings. You got to feel all your feelings. You got to be in your emotional state when you're feeling it. And that's kind of what came up with this topic today about staying on your mission. So last week was a rough week for me. Um, I have been <clears throat> in an interesting space in my dating life and I kinda had one of those weeks where everyone that meant something in the past maybe came back up or just kind of all the ebbs and flows of what I've been going through of the times where I felt like I needed a provider, the times that I felt like just love was the only thing that mattered, the times where <laughs> Like, I let people use me and, you know, and I think that it was one of those weeks that something that was very important to me, which is this podcast, which is being consistent on this podcast, I let just kind of not happen. I had opportunities to kind of film, but I just always gave myself the excuse to let me sit my feelings and let me just not do it and not accomplish it. And so it wasn't until I decided to get into hot yoga. I was like, I want to just get consistent into something. I have a couple trips coming up. I have Miami coming up. I'll be in Miami from July 18th to July, or excuse me, August 1st, maybe August 2nd. And so I have Miami to get ready for. I have a couple of, e of events before then, and I just want to make sure that I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. So I thought the perfect hobby to get into right now would be hot yoga consistently, right? Um, I've been loving it. It feels amazing. Um, it's one of the hardest workouts I think I've ever done, and it's just the most incredible feeling to complete it and be drenched in sweat and just be like dang but you did that for you and so i went um on saturday and i've only done it up until then for what like five to six days straight um, and then I took a week off. It was like a free week. So I took my free week, took a week off. And during that week off is a depression week. Or I don't even want to call it depression anymore because it, it makes it sound so much more dramatic. The week that I decided to just let my emotions control my progress. 
And so I go back, I'm ready to get started, I'm ready to be consistent, I'm ready to get ready for Miami. And I start the practice, we're just doing a cat pose, and I just start crying. Not a boohoo cry, not like a <laughs> snot cry, but she said, breathe in and just breathe out everything you want to just let go of. And in that moment, I set my intention for uh, the practice of the day to just be like, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to speak about on my podcast? And all I kept hearing was stay on, stay on mission, stay on the mission, stay on the mission. So what is the mission? What is the mission? Well, I was living in Dallas. January 30th, I moved from Dallas to back to Georgia. And I had two options. Option number one was to come back to Georgia to get back with my ex-boyfriend, get back into that relationship, kind of get back into that like swindle of what we had going on there. Or I could come and just be a part of the Morning Meetup, which is a community that of entrepreneurs that I love so much, I speak about so much, but just be a part of that. And I chose the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I chose the relationship. And long story short, uh, the person told me not to choose the relationship. If I came back, come back for me or something else but not the relationship and so I said okay I'm going to come for the morning meetup I'm going to come and just be a part of people be a part and be a part of a community of people who are learning how to build business learning how to be consistent with what they want out of life. So that's what I did. I packed my bags, I drove 13 hours, got to Atlanta, and the first week um, I went to one of David's podcast recordings and just sat in the audience, just observe just just was in the room just seeing what's going on just being around people who are doing something amazing and I didn't know where it was going but that day um, David was having a podcast uh, mastermind or whatever you want to call it that's what I don't know if it was that Sunday or that next Thursday and he asked me if I wanted to go and I was like eh, I don't know and he was like well you're part of the morning meetup so it's like 700 off I was like okay okay well, I think about it and um yeah, the more I thought about it, the more it made sense that, okay, I used to be an actress. I like being in front of the camera. I never really quit acting as much as wanted to find something that would allow me to be more in control, allow me to be more in control of like my destiny as far as how far I can take things. In entertainment, I've always wanted to kind of like have my own show or be the star in my own show or a show. And so 
it kind of was just like, I mean, okay, I don't know if podcasting is the space, but I'm here. I, <laughs> you know, am impressionable. I like the vibe. It's cool here. All right, let's go. <laughs> so I invested $1,300 um, on a credit card. I didn't have the money in cash, but I did just get a credit card, so it worked out. And I put it on the credit card and I told like the closest people around me. And they were like, oh, okay, we'll see. I don't know about that. But it just made sense. I can't explain it, it just made sense. I guess, you know, like it's one of those things that like we know you know, you know? Anyways, so long story short, we can just skip past the the parts where I just kept consistent and showing up and watching them do the podcast. If you don't know, I ended up being on the podcast, ironically, um, for, you know, can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So everybody who, not everybody, the people who saw the clip was like, well, why'd you, why'd you even like admit to dating him? Why'd you even say that like you guys knew each other? I would have just been like, yeah, he cool. Or I don't know him. Or I would have lied. A lot of people said that to me. And I just want to know why are you guys wanting to silence girls why are you guys why can't we speak honestly on both sides about who we dated and how it went i just want to know i just want to know anyways so as i'm crying in my yoga pose in my it was a downward facing dog I'm rolling my forehead, my third eye on my mat, and I'm just like crying because in that moment I realized like I was showing up for myself. I was showing up for myself for Miami months ahead. And it hit me that I'm not doing this for the person that I spent the week my week in bed crying for. I'm not doing this for my mom, even though I wanna buy her a beautiful house, even though I would want to make sure she's like financially secured for the rest of her life. I'm doing this for me and only me. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if, <clears throat> yes, it's cool if you become a legend. It's cool if you become an icon. It's cool if you change lives. It's amazing. But if you don't, you just become someone who was, who was here. It matters, you matter, but you're just a story. And sin that you're doing all of this for is you. I mean, literally you. I mean, you guys can think whatever about me. You guys can think that because I was a stripper, I am this way or I sell life insurance, so like I must be this way, or I'm a podcaster, so maybe I need like attention, or I may think that I'm super cute. Like whatever you guys' opinions is gonna be once I post it, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I completed another week of something I said I was going to do. I. I'm doing this for me. 
And staying on mission is about doing what you said you were going to do for you. In those feelings where you're feeling sad and depressed, you have like two options. You have the option where you just allow yourself to fall into all of the toxic habits that you love to do, whether that's smoking, whether that's drinking, whether that's sex with random people, whether that's, um, I don't know what y'all doing out here. Or you can choose to focus on the mission, focus on the purpose that you're going towards. What are you choosing? What are you choosing? And where the sun always shines more, where the happiness always is for me is when I'm choosing to move towards what my mission is, what my purpose is. I saw this like really funny, not, not really funny. I saw this like video of a man who was saying that like when you get a wife don't let her like to knock you off your mission don't let her distract you from what you're supposed to be doing and at first I was just like but you know like love but like you know like <laughs> like romance but you know like and I'm really starting to get what he meant I'm really starting to realize that in this opportunity of the spaces that we're in as women it's imperative that we don't let men knock us off our mission yes we're going to be dating in the lifespans of our careers yes we're going to find people that we love and like and care about and some are going to be a little dusty shout out to Shira seven sprinkle sprinkle some of them are going to be a little dusty and some of them are going to be amazing and some of them are going to be this and some of them are going to be that but when it doesn't work out you lean more into your mission. You lean more into your art. You lean more into your passion. And just me talking about this with you guys. Because of course I didn't want anyone to know why I didn't post last week. Because I was crying over a guy. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, instead of just never posting again or just being like, oh, I, I lost my consistency, I'm done. It feels so much healthier and happier to just lean more into the mission, into the purpose, into the goal. And I feel incredibly blessed to have a group around me, a community around me, of people who are doing the same thing. So, that's that. On that note, on that note, I wanted to share my first step into healing, my first step into finding that self-love to have this mindset and that's the heal thyself i hope y'all can see that the heal thyself book by queen of fua if you don't know my queen story i went and i met queen she was having like a mansion uh a mansion retreat and it was a five-day retreat and my most memorable moment with her was when she asked like, why did I come? What made me come and see her? And what made me interested in her books? And <laughs> my answer is just so iconic to me. I said, I have never met someone who 
consider themselves a queen before who has the who had the audacity the daring the spiritual goddessness to be like i'm a queen my name is queen afua like no one in my family has ever done that like as a I just think that's so powerful. I think, anyways, I think that's just so powerful. I think it's so powerful. So Queen Afua teaches about healing, raw veganism, eating foods that keep you alive, eating live foods, and reminding you about your self-care, reminding you that you are the most important thing always and the way you treat yourself is the way that others treat you and in order to receive a life of abundance and blessings it first requires you giving yourself the abundance and blessings that you wish others around you would give you so anyways i feel a like <laughs> I feel all like preachy preachy right now, but <sighs> this podcast has given me a voice that I've always kind of been scared to share because it's not always the coolest voice. It's not always the voice that's like, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians. Like, I love that side too. Like, I love the flashy stuff. I love the trips, the... <sighs> but in order to get there, it's such a mindset. It's such a mental battle. It's such a physical battle. It's such a... <sighs> Placing yourself in these strategic chess move places and definition of mission what is the definition of mission okay a mission is an important assignment carried out for political religious or commercial purposes typically involving travel mm. the vocation or calling of a religious organization especially a christian one to go out to the world and spread its faith oh what i like in that is the importance of spreading of going out into the world and sharing 